<laughs> Good morning, Zoo family. Today the kids are going to co-op. Yeah! And this is a new thing. This is our first year being part of a co-op. We're obviously a homeschool family. Many of you know that. Some of you are still unfamiliar with that. We have videos that we've put out in the past. You can find out more information on that by going and looking for those videos. And uh, if you want more information, I think there's also like a QA and a on our other channel, Behind the Zoo. So click on over to that. Go to the Channels tab. You'll see Behind the Zoo. Click Subscribe there. And we also have some uh, Q&As about homeschool over on that channel. But for now, we are joining a co-op this year, and Melanie's actually going to explain to you what a co-op is while she's on her way to co-op, but I wanted to show you the kids this morning. Timmy's going to preschool like normal. He's got his PCA that he's been going to. He's in VPK4 this year, and he's got his cute little backpack there. Look at mine. Look at yours. Yeah, look at yours. <laughs> and uh, then the other three kids, big kids, are homeschooled full-time. We've explained to you all before that the Timmy gets to go to VPK4 for free. Our state actually pays for it. That's a pre-K for four-year-olds. So we do that so that each kid gets like one solid year of learning in an outside classroom where they learn everything that's expected from them about raising their hands and following the rules and playing nicely so that when they come home for homeschool, they're, they're already foundational students. They know how to learn and what's expected from them in the classroom. And then the other three are full-time homeschool and we're joining a co-op this year. Again, mom's gonna explain to you what a co-op is. It's really gonna be fun. And it's basically like, it's just, think of it like all the homeschool people getting together and doing a little bit extra learning and sometimes you end up doing field trips and things like that with a co-op. We joined a co-op this year called ARK, A-R-K. Mom's gonna explain to you everything about that, but are you guys excited for co-op? Yeah! They are, they really have been, and we've been doing school for a few weeks now, but this is the first time we're doing ARK, so you guys gonna be good? Yeah. yeah. Cool, and if you have questions, what do we do? Wait. We raise our hand for our teacher, <laughs> trying to drive that home. What? Because there's so few kids in our homeschool room, they can just kind of say whatever, whatever question they have. They can say, Mom, am I doing this right? And it's okay. But when there's 20 kids in the room or there's a few more kids in the room than usual, got to raise our hands. Got to raise our what hands. Backpack? Oh, I love your backpack. I love everybody's backpack. I'm holding my one arm. Oh, you're holding yours with one arm like a cool kid? No, I am not. Oh, like a cool kid. Yeah. Love you. Be good. Hugs, hugs, <laughs> hugs, hugs. Be good, be good. Have fun. Is Make memories. So what do you Maybe. have in that? I don't know. All my books. Jeez. Maybe in science experiments. Okay. Okay, cool. Maybe you have rocks. <laughs> you have rocks? No, I don't. I have a jar, though. Okay. Have, have fun, Mom. Bye, Timmy. Right. Bye, everybody. Bye, Timmy. A hog? And your hair was just fitting, and they got water. Yeah, I know. And then they had hot, boning fire. Fire? Fire? Oh, why? Why did you go down? The slide. Yeah. Slide. Hot, yeah. burning slide. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> We're here at Timmy's preschool. I got the blessing of dropping him off today and spending a little bit of time one on one with Timmy. I don't get that very yeah, often. And watch a show. Yeah, we got to watch a little show before we left home. Yeah, and watch I a show together. Now I'm dropping him off, and he's telling me about the playground out there. And he's like, "Yeah, Dad, you get super sweaty when you're out there, and there's a hot burning slide." <laughs> It's a plastic slide that gets all burning and hot in the sun. And then Timmy's like, it's a hot burning slide. You're so cute. I'm so happy to spend time with you. See, because the kids go to ARC every other week, I'll get a little bit of time with Timmy every other week. A little morning that I can spend with Timbo. I like to try and spend one-on-one -on -one time with each kid as much as, as often as I'm able to. And this will be nice with Timmy. I don't get that very often. You're cute. You're so cute. You know that? Trying to tickle me? I love how kids try to tickle and what they're really just doing is scratching the heck out of your neck and they're just like scratching. You're like, ah, is this tickle, Dad? Where's that red thing? What red thing? Dad, a light. Oh, it's a little light on my door. It means it's locked or unlocked. Probably locked. Okay, you ready to go inside? You gotta go inside. You ready? Yeah! Go? You're a ham, you, you're a ham, you know that? Okay, let's go. So we're on our way to co-op. 
Uh, our co-op is called ARC. And basically what it is, is it's every other week that we go and do science, writing, uh, PE, sign language, things that uh, would be less fun if I only had my four kids do it. Um, and it's a nice way for them to socialize with other children and me getting to socialize with other homeschool moms. And I think it's just gonna be a really great year. Something different, something uh, that is a, a basically a low commitment from us, but I think that's gonna have great returns. And with a co-op, each mom has to do something. So each mom either has to teach a class or to be a teacher's assistant. So this year I signed up to teach a life skills class for high schoolers. I am really looking forward to this class. Basically what I do is I get professionals from our county to come in and talk to our high school students about skills that you would hope to um, have when you go into college, like interview skills or how to save first aid or car maintenance, things like that. So uh, I'm in charge of that this year and I, like, I think this is probably the most exciting part about co-op besides seeing my kids interact with others and have um, some really cool experiences. So I'm really looking forward to learning from these professionals. Uh, I don't think you can ever stop learning and I think that they have uh, some really valuable information. So we are here, we are pulling in now and uh, I just am so excited about this year and I cannot wait to see what God has in store for us. <laughs> Balloons left over from the birthday party still. Yeah. <laughs> where's, where's Logan, is he coming? Okay, I'm closing my eyes. Don't you even pee. No, I'm gonna open my eyes. Come on, come on. Daddy. What are you dressed as? <laughs> I'll go to the Wait, has Katie been using you as a human Barbie doll? Yes! Back up. <laughs> she dressed you up in her stuff? Yeah. Let me see the gloves. Is that all the Cinderella stuff? Yeah. Katie, you can't use your brothers as human Barbie dolls. <laughs> It's not fair. This footage, you know, this footage is going to be shown to his future girlfriends <laughs> and wife and children forever. And this will live forever now on the internet. <laughs> you guys are silly. You know what? You're a nice brother that you don't force Katie to play your boy games without playing her girl games. You know that? You know that? That's what makes a super nice brother. We actually had that conversation before the kids ever got to meet Katie before she ever came home from India. We told them, now listen, when she comes home, she's gonna wanna maybe play different games than you. It's great if she wants to join in the games that you play, but if she has some other ideas about games she wants to play, are you ready to play her games? If she wants to have tea time or dress up, are you ready to play her games? And Logan, you're a good boy that you're willing to play. <laughs> You're, you're a good brother. Oh boy, it's, it's Logan. It's really nice that you're willing to play her games. You know that? You're a good big brother. No one always play with me. He's nice like that, isn't he? If you wanna play one of your games or any game that she comes up with, he, Logan's always willing to play. There were a lot of great answers to yesterday's question of the day. We asked, what is the most memorable gift you ever received from a sibling? There were so many great answers, we couldn't just pick one. So we have to give shout outs to Ishwari Jashmuk, Atulio Rattan, Andrea Jimenez, Sarah Ball 4, and Latina Info Warrior. Your answers are so heartfelt, we couldn't pick just one of you. Thanks to everyone who participated. Don't forget to tag the hidden zoo animal from this video in your answer to the question of the day, and we may give you a shout out in our next video. Like, subscribe, comment, and share, and we'll see you tomorrow.